What's good, YouTube? Hey, I've been gone. Me and Babe been in Mexico for the last couple days, last last week and a couple days, eight days, so a week and a day, and uh, for her birthday. So that video is coming out soon on the Couples channel. So make sure y'all follow the Couples channel. Uh, link will be in the description. You know what I'm saying? Catch that joint because it was fire. I got we, we was in Cabo. I, we got drunk. I got stupid drunk. This guy over here. Let me show you real quick. <laughs> we went to Tulum. Dope stuff. Went to Tulum Beach. Uh, so I'll have like a little workout video of me at like the Tulum gym. Um, you know, with like the little prehistoric weights and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? It was dope. It was dope as hell. But today we are going to be focused on a knee friendly leg day. Um, keeping those knees healthy for the, the people who have knee issues when training, which I know a lot of you do, especially if you used to be an athlete. Um, we tend to have bad knees as we get older due to all of the pressure and just the wear and tear over the years of just putting in that hard young man work because we didn't feel that pain back then but we feel it now so for those who um want to understand how i cope with any knee issues that i have with training i'm going to put you guys through the workout that i would do or that i i do do um yeah i did just do um anyways uh <laughs> put you guys through the workout um that i would do to keep my knees healthy and actually strengthen them and um, build the still build like big legs and stuff. My legs aren't big right now because they haven't been a main focus. Um, training hasn't been a main focus for me at all, to be honest, right now. I'm still recovering from my back injury. And uh, yeah. Also, horrible news. <sighs> Messed up my camera in freaking Cabo. So, I mean, it works, it still films. But the LCD screen and the EVP screen do not function. So, I mean, at least it still films. Like, I can still use it to stream and stuff. Uh, just stream with the last night at twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath. I mean, it's twitch.tv slash, I mean, damn it, twitch.tv slash Tehran underscore Beckham. Um, so, it sucks. This is a very expensive camera. So, I'm thankful that it still works and only the LCD screens and EVP. Are damaged Just trying to shoot some girls trying to shoot my girlfriend and her friends and the big ass wave came in fat ass wave came in and just it was like in my hand and they wanted me to take the damn photo with the phone which I don't fucking understand but whatever these are new Reeboks the black Norse you know you feel me comfortable shoes man comfortable great for everything you know what sucks? I actually left to the gym like 6 o'clock this morning. 6.30, cause I thought the gym opened at 5. And I forgot it was Saturday. I forgot it was Saturday. So, yeah, I had to come back to the house. I'm talking about beta alanine was baiting in. The face was itching in. I was ready, I got there. I didn't see no cars. I was like, yo, what the hell's going on? I got the gym to myself damn gym closed but i thought it was nine but actually it's eight so i have to wait about an hour and a half so i just did some car stuff came back to the house real quick looked up some research some stuff and uh here we are about to head back Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, also share the video and comment, leave a comment below on any video ideas you guys would want me to do. Now, as I said before, today's um, video is about doing a, a knee-friendly leg workout for strength, mass, 
um, pretty much all your needs to avoid any knee pains and I'm excited to bring you guys this video. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by MyBookie. For those who are interested in sports betting, you should definitely check out the MyBookie link in the description. And you already know about them Cowboys. Them Cowboys. Yo, honestly, Cowboys is like, I want to play on America's team. Honestly, and for those who ask Tehran, what team would you want to play for? I would like to go back home, bro. Go back home, play for them Cowboys. I'll be Captain America on that squad, you feel me? Captain America straight linebacker you feel me but so once again hit that link in the description for that <laughs> damn that and uh let's get to the rest of the video don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that uh description link for my bookie all right so starting out we're gonna warm up the legs with uh i've been doing stairmaster not only for cardio but to get myself primed ready and warmed up um i like to skip a step so i can get a good lunge lunge motion and um it doesn't bother my knees at all. I don't I don't believe this will bother your knees if you do a so what I do is a step up. It's like a step up. I'm coming back because I hold on to the rails, coming back, trying to use my glutes and my hips to come up rather than uh, a lot of my the quad work. Usually when you slouch over forward, a lot of people tend to do that when they're getting upstairs just because of the incline. So you can use the braces on the side to try to focus a little bit more on having a midsole to back heel uh, feeling when you step rather than an all toes uh, feeling. So doing this for about 10 to 15 minutes before training has definitely helped with warming up my, those areas uh, for my for leg training. Something prime that is very, very important to do before getting into those bigger movements, uh, doing something like the hamstring curls. I believe the hamstring curls are very good for developing, you know, completely the hamstrings from, you know, small motions to big, big ranges of motions. You can play around with it a lot and build a lot of good muscle tension in the exercises. And doing this before something like a back squat will help get those blood, blood pumping, those hamstrings a lot fuller. So when you go into depth or something like that, you feel a lot stronger coming out. Um, but we'll get to that a little bit later. But for the sets of this, I was doing it for about four sets of 10 reps, four, actually four to six reps for 10 reps. I turned the camera off and continued to go a little bit more. Um, I love hamstring curls, lying hamstring curls at that. I hate doing the seated hamstring curls. Where you just sit upright and like, it, I just hate that so much. And um, so I stick with the lying leg curls for four sets, four to six sets of 10 reps. And we're going, we're gradually increasing the weight. Uh, each set. So next up, we're doing the reverse hyperextensions. Now, this is for back as well, I mean, a lower back as well as for hamstrings. Uh, the reason why I do it in this order, right after the lying uh, lying hamstring curls, is because now we are getting that full-on stretch and a and a good glute squeeze at the top of the motion. But I like the stretch that I get to develop some lengthening for my hamstrings after getting it pumped from the hamstring curls. So adding this in with some glute squeezes and some lower back um, um, training as well to warm up before we hit a squat or some sort. One of our compound movements is uh, very good to do right before that. Now you guys know, I, I don't actually I don't even know when the last time I've done box squats, but I used to live and die by the box squat, and I need to continue to do that live and die by the box squat because not only does it help develop form when squatting but it helps develop just pure power strength period when it comes to performance training and for a lot of athletes you guys should definitely be doing box squats i, I believe that box squats were the reason why uh back then when i was getting ready for football that i was becoming a lot more you know, uh, explosive uh, coming out the hole hard um my 40 time my vertical jump i was going in on box squats and it's it's a lot easier on the body i feel just because you're not having to, the, the load, the load is being rested at the bottom. I sit all the way down. A lot of people say they just tap and go. I don't tap and go. I sit, I come all the way down to a complete stop. That way my power is coming from that position on up, right? I'm not using any type of bounce like I usually do on a normal squat. Doing a box squat, especially depending on your feet positioning, you can be close to get a little bit more quad work and still be uh, healthier on the knees. Or you can go a little bit wider to get some glute work. You know, same concepts as a regular squat. 
but these will definitely help you develop good legs and on top of that better athletic performance when it comes to whatever sport you may do or if it's just normal life you can just you know just do box squats it's healthier for you um and it, it'll definitely save your knees in the long run so for these it's a pyramid set going from like from 10 reps to eight reps to um six sets uh for three uh, six reps for three sets to end it off so something you might actually question right now is the romanian split squats um like wow that really does are you, are you sure that doesn't hit the knees now it's actually better to do it with dumbbells for beginners if you're more advanced you can do it with a barbell but um, you might question like does this really keep you know, keep your knees from hurting well actually the movement itself when you're doing it you're feeling it a lot more in your hamstrings and glutes rather than that frontal those quads and, and, and um, towards the knees. So I don't feel any pain at all. And this is comes from somebody, I used to have like critical like knee pains coming out of high school and doing these never bothered me at all. I feel, I always feel it heavily in my hamstrings and in my glutes. So this is something I definitely think you should be doing when it comes to uh, trying to train and to prevent knee, uh, knee, trying to prevent knee pain and also helping, you know, build so it doesn't happen, period because the single leg unilateral movements are key for, for killing off those imbalances that probably cause the knee pain in the first place. A lot of imbalances are the reason for that. So we need to hit those inner inner thighs, outer thighs, uh, quads, hamstrings. We gotta hit all, all four planes uh, to keep our knees steady and in place um, when, we're, when we're training. So when doing these, you wanna do about four to five sets of eight reps each leg. If you wanna take it a little bit further, we'll do eight to 12 just to open the gap a little bit. If you just wanna get a little bit more work in, but 12, I would try to keep that limit. Now, I know those bodybuildery type people, you might wanna go a little bit lighter and go a lot you know, higher, and then go for that, you know, 20 reps, go for a lighter weight, 20 reps, you know, focus on that depth, or you can just pump it out, whatever you may wanna do. But for me, I want to strengthen and build at the same time, so I stick to the eight reps. And last up, we are going to do leg press. Now leg press, depending upon your foot positioning, it hits a lot of different things. We're going a little bit closer today, so we're still going to hit those quads, but leg press is so good on, on, the, on the body that you don't feel it in the knees. Now if you feel it in the knees, that means you're, you, you have to be doing something wrong with your toes. They're like super up or something when you're pressing, but you don't need to do. You keep your feet fully on the, on the platform and you can make like a V shape, right? So you can hit that lower quad, the, uh, the teardrop, we call it the teardrop. You hit that teardrop really good. If you just keep it right there and do about five sets of 20 reps. I always, always do high reps on leg press and I like to finish off my workouts on leg press. Now I don't do like leg extensions. Um, I, 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 mean, I won't focus on leg extensions when I'm trying to stay away from knee pain because they, yes, they're good for building that quad pump, um, but they do cause uh, some unwanted tension in that area. So I feel like a good leg press for, for um, high sets and reps will pretty much take over the need for having a, a leg extension. So once again, five sets for 20 reps. Gotta make that clap. Gotta make that clap. Woo! Yo, yo, we head back to the house. I'm gonna show you guys what I be eating. You know what I'm saying? What's gonna be my meals for the next three days and past that, I'm gonna do three days of meal prepping. And uh, yeah, cause I'm still trying to cut down even after after we came back from Mexico. Just cause like, yo, I'm so, I'm just not satisfied with my body. I just don't like how I look. Even if I have to lose muscle, I don't care, but I wanna lose this weight. Um, and uh, that's why I haven't been like lifting heavy or nothing like, right now lately. So we'll, we'll figure something out, but I, I just don't I, don't, I don't like looking at myself. And I feel like that, you know what I'm saying? I feel this way to, to people. I know people be like, my girl be like, you don't look like your bad is not, it's, it's still better than people's average or or normals or, or your bad is better than people's good. You know, that's what my girl tells me and stuff. But it's like, I'm just not satisfied. I don't like looking at myself. I don't like being shirtless. Camera died in the camera, I mean, camera died in the car. So, like I said, not happy with just a, I just, I just don't like any photo I take. I just don't, you know? Babe looks fine. She looks good. You heard me. What's up, girl? So, we're going to cook meals for what, next three days? 
you want food for the next three yeah, days? Yeah, it'll be a few days at a time. Uh, so for the next three days, and uh, you know, they get changed up every three days or whatever, or kind of, or until, probably not. No, no, probably not. But uh, this is what I'll be eating. Let's go in here. So we have breakfast, which you want to eat actually now. I'm gonna have some sausage. Uh, look at that, just prefer a sausage. So we got some Jimmy Deans. And then I'll have it with four eggs and maybe two waffles. That'll be my first carbs for the day. What's up, baby? Like crazy. You look fine. That's what you <laughs> look fine, girl. By K like one. Babe wants some meat and onions. Yes. Beef and onions. Beef and onions. So I'm gonna cook up some ground beef and onions. I usually eat that with white rice. What else you got? I got, I got chicken thighs because I'm gonna make some soup. Some um, chicken breast. But I got chicken breast. Okay. And then I got my salmon with crab, you know my fave. Salmon with crab. Got that chicken stuff right there. What is this? Crab cake stuff, Atlantic salmon. Oh, and I got some shrimp. Shrimp. What's all the shrimp you got? You didn't say you wanted shrimp. But I got oh, your tilapia. Right. It's in the bottom too. It's frozen tilapia there. Yeah, they don't have fresh. Whole Foods didn't have fresh tilapia? Uh, no, they didn't. They said they don't do it at that often. Mm. Okay, you got broccolini. No, as, no asparagus? Yeah, in a drawer. It's in a drawer? Yeah, open the drawer. Oh, okay. You got some asparagus. I'm gonna cook breakfast right now. So here we are, ground beef. We're gonna throw and some onion salt, some sea salt. Uh, where is the, I made, I made it some great tasting ones, some Italian seasoning the other day. So we're gonna do some Italian seasoning. Ooh. Prime rib roast seasoning, peppercorn and garlic, peppercorn, garlic and herb. And that is it. Boom. I forgot to tell y'all, uh, oh, oh God, God damn it! I forgot to tell y'all black pepper, and you know for some ground paprika. God damn it, Ron! Keep dropping shit, bro. All right, so that's what I'm for breakfast because she's making bacon, so I'm just gonna go ahead and knock two, you know, knock that out since she's already making it. And we have the beef in here with the onions chopped up and over it seasoned. I'm gonna let that sit for like a couple minutes, and then I'm gonna mix it all together. Cook it up nicely. What was this for? Uh, with the meat with it. You need to rinse it off. I would, I would rinse it off. Oh, no. Yeah, it was raw meat. So we're gonna have, uh, actually instead of the waffles, we're gonna do the maple brown sugar. We'll do two cups, 100 calories per. I'm gonna add some organic California raisins to it. That sounds much better, actually, so. Yeah, I'm gonna do that with the bacon and eggs. A little bit of black beans as well. We picked that up from Mexico. We came to Mexico, we're like, damn, we like beans with damn eggs and eggs breakfast. And beans. Eggs and beans, baby. We have it. We need some refried beans too. You don't look cold. So, meat's done, eggs done, black beans done. Oatmeal in here, and that is going to be meal one. Oatmeal with raisins, one cup, about four eggs, four pieces of bacon, and some black beans. Babe and her. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to have waffles. Cup of waffles. Have a couple of waffles. So, breakfast. That. I'm gonna fry some chicken breasts. Also, and then have a salad. That's gonna be my meal planning. I can't really show you guys everything right now. I don't think I can cook everything. We think we need more. We need more storage, boo boo. More containers. So, I can't actually meal prep everything but the beef at the moment so we'll come back i got some asparagus i'm gonna make 
And uh, I'll just try to do a full, once I get everything cooked, like a full day of eating video for you guys. And that way it all works out for everybody. Now get your ass up, get to where you need to go. Got some new shoes in from Reebok. Boom. These are the Zig Kineticas. Very comfortable. These are very comfortable shoes. I have multiples of you seen in the video before. Uh, this is about, I got about eight pairs so far now. So these are some new ones that just came in. Not sure what A Life have A Life. Is that what that's supposed to mean? I don't know. But find out next time on Aftermath Channel. Peace out.